let's take a look at an actual battle between tigers and fish beds. Hi everyone, today we'll be doing something a little bit different. Instead of a single airplane bio, we will look at two aircraft that faced off against each other in actual combat and what the results were. The first part of the video we will look at each aircraft individually and give you a quick overview of the conflict. The second part of the video my good friends over at Grim Reapers will fly this combat using DCS. Ready? Here we go. Let's start with the F5. The Northrop F5E Tiger II is a lightweight multi-role fighter which is an upgraded version of the F5A Freedom Fighter. Upgrades to the engines, avionics, and structural improvements allow the F5E to fly faster, carry more fuel and weapons, and have significantly improved sensors. All of this was done while keeping the F5E an easy to maintain, inexpensive to fly, and highly maneuverable fighter. The F5E is still in use today as an aggressor or adversary aircraft by the US Navy and still operational with over 25 countries. The Tiger II has and continues to make its mark on military aviation. Here are some specifications for the F5E. Engines. Each General Electric JE85 GE21 produces 3,500 pounds or 16 kilonewtons thrust dry or 5,000 pounds or 22 kilonewtons with afterburner. Maximum speed, Mach 1.63 at altitude. The F5E has two internally mounted M39A2 20mm cannons in the fuselage nose and can carry two heat-seeking Sidewinder missiles on the wingtips. Additionally, the F5E has five pylons which can be used to carry up to 7,000 pounds or 3,175 kilograms of ordnance or fuel tanks. Loads can include four more air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-surface missiles, bombs, unguided rockets, or external fuel tanks. Now let's take a look at the MiG-21. The Mikoyan Gwervich MiG-21 is a lightweight Mach 2 fighter and interceptor codenamed Fishbed by NATO. Initially developed by the Soviet Union, the MiG-21 is still operational for several air forces more than six decades after its first flight and is the world's most produced supersonic aircraft. The MiG-21's delta wing design allows for high speeds and incredible climb rates, but does result in rapid energy loss in a turning dogfight. However, it's easy to maintain, easy to fly, ruggedness has earned the MiG-21 its reputation and cemented its place in aviation history. Let's take a look at some specifications for the MiG-21 BIS. Engine. One Tumansky R25-300 afterburning turbojet produces 9,030 pounds or 40.18 kilonewtons thrust dry or 15,640 pounds or 69.58 kilonewtons thrust with afterburner. Maximum speed Mach 2.05 at altitude. The MiG-21 is armed with one internal 23mm Griznov Shipanov GSH-23L autocannon with 200 rounds. Additionally, the MiG-21 has five hardpoints, four under the wing and one underneath the fuselage, which is reserved for external drop tanks. The underwing stations can carry combinations of rockets, bombs, and missiles, including the heat-seeking air-to-air K-13. Both. The F-5 and MiG-21 were lightweight fighters that were easy to maintain and inexpensive to operate. They would encounter each other in combat in the skies over the Horn of Africa. During 1977 through 1978, Somali forces invaded the Ethiopian region of Agaden. This became known as the Agaden War. At the time, Ethiopia's Air Force consisted of F-5As and F-5Es, and their pilots had received training from the United States. Meanwhile, the Somali Air Force consisted of MiG-17s and MiG-21s, with its pilots having been trained by the Soviet Union. Interestingly, the Ethiopian F-5As did not have air-to-air -air capabilities or radars, being configured as close air support platforms, while the Ethiopian F-5Es were equipped with radars and Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles. Along with this, the Ethiopians had American-supplied ground radar installations which were superior to the Somali ground radar stations. This set up a classic bait-and-trap situation by the Ethiopian Air Force. 
The non-air-to-air F-5As would take off and climb to 30,000 feet, intentionally getting detected by the Somali ground radar stations. The Somali Air Force would scramble their MiG-21s to intercept the F-5As. At this point, the Ethiopian F-5Es would scramble while the F-5As would begin to head home. To avoid detection as long as possible, the F-5Es would keep their radars in a low power mode and receive guidance from ground stations. Once close enough, the F-5Es would turn on their radars and ambush the MiG-21s with sidewinders. The tactic was hugely successful and led to both the first confirmed kill for the Ethiopian Air Force along with the first confirmed kill of a MiG-21 by an F-5E. One incredible air battle took place where three F-5Es took on four MiG-21s. The four MiG-21s were flying top cover for four MiG-17s. The sudden appearance of three F-5s caused two of the MiG-21s to immediately collide while trying to maneuver, and a third was shot down with cannon fire by Lagasse Tefara, an Ethiopian pilot who was trained in the US. Lagasse's wingmen shot down the remaining MiG-21 while Lagasse used his two sidewinders to shoot down two of the MiG-17s. And now, let's turn it over to Cap and RC from the Grim Reapers to reenact this conflict in DCS using the F-5E and MiG-21 BIS. Thank you, Talk, and welcome to the Horn of Africa. We are replaying the three F-5Es versus the four MiG-21s. Nope. The versions of the aircraft we've got here are ever so slightly different to what uh, Tog was talking about. We've got the F-5E Mark III here, and the baddies are going to be MiG-21 Bizzes. Ever so slightly different, but, you know, near enough the same. Sundowner 1's heading out. I'm Sundowner 2. RC Sundowner 3 over there. There are the cons of uh, four number F-5As of uh, Ethiopia. They are attracting Angels 30. They are attracting the Soviet MiGs out, sorry, the Somali MiGs out, and we are going to go and do a belly intercept. Um, let's get set up. Uh, RWR search mode. If I go RWR search, do you want to go RWR track? Non-search. Okay. Uh, center belly, because we've got center pods, we're going to bias to the left tank. Uh, going to get the nose wheel struck up. I can. I'm going to radar. radar to standby, please, until we engage. Flare set. Check. Just prepping everything for battle. Even some lights for my old man eyes. Two taking position from three. Lead requesting permission to take off. The trap is set and we're off. Right in his wake turbulence, we're right where I don't want to be. Two up. Down the leads, taking us for some uh, interesting maneuvers. <laughs> He's just very, very keen to get at those Somalis. Okay, master arms on. Activate pylons. Two fenced in already. Keep radar silent for now. The rule nose is silent, the rule nose is cold at the moment, radar silent, we're going to wait to spring the trap. Uh, where's our F5As? There they are, doing their job, a nice easy to pick formation.
Nose is warm, nose is warm. Scan 40 miles. had word that the MiGs are heading from this direction from Somalia and heading up to our F5As who are now turning away trying to lead them to the right flank there. Radar's on, scanning for them. Nails 2-1, Nails 2-1 on the search, you stay track. The 2-1s have turned their radar on and we're picking them up here. Double check in the cockpit, master arm on, pylons on. I'm picking up a heat signature. Targets on the nose, tally targets on the nose. Targets on the nose, multiple targets on the nose, varying altitudes. Banging away. Heat your draw bell. Tanks away. Cap shooting. Too close for missiles. Dog fight. Closure rate was so high there. Cap merge. Vertical fight. Come on, pull all your big lug. Okay, we'll see if get a head-on shot with my P5s here. Hops do. God damn it. I'm still merged, vertical fight going higher. He's got the power, he's got the power here. I don't have the power, so I'm going to have to go down and try and bait him. Might have fooled him here. He's expecting me to go up. It's out, it's out, it's out, it's out. A jinx it. Dodge, re engaging. And head down to the canyons. Looking up for a bad guy is always easier than looking down. Watch out for missiles. Missile, missile, missile. Jinky, jinky, jinky. Dodge. Dodge the second. Engaging. Got to retain tally. Got to retain tally. Got to get my nose high and I can get him here. Come on, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. I'm in, I'm in a, I'm in a low fight with the 21 here. Roger up. Can't get my nose on him. Come on, get your nose on him, a little plane. Come on, you little five. Can get a shot here. So they're five going after him. Okay, we've got him, we've got him. Fox two, dodge that. Oh god! <laughs> Jesus. He's dodged my missiles. I'm guns. Right, radar on, we're going for a guns fight. Ah, oh, we've lost our seat. See the guy that took him down. Right, got to get some speed in the bird here. Okay, 
where is he going? Where is he going? Okay, I'll see you there, GCI. Might be able to get a snapshot on this guy here. Come on, pull it up five, pull, pull it up five. Oh, the one behind you has no missiles. That works with me. Hits. God damn it, get some. It's pretty poor shooting. Let's try at it again. I can't keep with him belonging the vertical here. I need him to get back into my territory. Yeah, I almost have a solution on you. Ah, oh, goddammit. They stepped into a trap. No, you got it. You got it. You got it. Turn inside him here, see if we can. Okay, got him now. We've got him now. Watch for the overspeed. Kill. Right, so our reenactment did not go very well, unfortunately. But that's just how it goes sometimes. I hope you otherwise enjoyed that. See you later. Thanks, Cap, RC, and the Reapers. It's too bad the battle didn't work out, but great flying nonetheless. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the Grim Reapers channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and click the bell for notifications to see more videos like this one. Stay safe and see you next time.